Hey everyone, welcome to yet another episode of Glenn Unboxes Things, and my wife is amazingly awesome, and I came home from work today to see this sitting on the couch here waiting for me. Um, it's an early Christmas gift. She said I could have it right away, though, because she knows how excited I was about this. This is something I was not planning to pick up myself until the summertime. Uh, so a couple notes right off the bat. If you are still looking for one of these things, don't buy them off those idiots online uh, who are trying to oversell these things. This is only $80 Canadian. Uh, I think it's like $60 US. Um, don't overpay for these things. There's This is a regular stocked item. Nintendo has confirmed that, okay? This is something they're going to be selling for a while. It's part of a new Classics line. Ooh, Classics. Um, and it's going to be something that they're going to keep going forward with. This is something they plan to keep selling. So um, there's no reason to pay those guys online for the ridiculous stuff they're looking for. I know a lot of people are like, oh, but I want it for Christmas. I get it. I understand that. But, you know, don't give in. They're part of the reason why you can't find one right now, and they're part of the reason why uh, they're just going to do it again the next time there's something hard to get, whatever that might be. Um, other thing, quick note, too. So this is actually only one day removed from the recording of when I did the PlayStation, no, maybe two days, I guess now, of the PlayStation 4 Pro unboxing. And when I finished that episode, I said, you know, I don't know when I'll have something else to unbox because who knows when I'll get something. Obviously, this is the case. But on a funny side note, after I finished recording the video and was getting ready to get it put up on YouTube and so forth, moved everything back, um, I remembered, hey, I also got a uh, Turtle Beach PX24 headset uh, as a gift from Turtle Beach. So uh, right off the bat, I'll say thank you, Turtle Beach. Um, and uh, I totally forgot that I had gotten that. So I actually did a quick unboxing video right then and there for that as well, which I will post at a later time. Uh, only because I don't want to be posting a whole bunch of unboxing videos in a short period of time and then there'd be a big huge drought. So, um, uh, but because this is the hot item going on right now and so forth, I don't want to wait. So I'm going to try and get this up. I'm recording this on, it's actually, believe it or not, it's 1.48 in the morning on Thursday, the, uh, what's today? The uh, 17th. So um, I'm going to hopefully have this up later on today. Uh, on Thursday for you guys to be able to watch. So, uh, now that we've got all that fun stuff out of the way, um, let's uh, get to the fun part, the actual unboxing. Um, it's got all the games listed on the back here, a couple of the cover arts, which is cool. And this is kind of exciting for me because um, when I was a kid, my parents didn't like buy me video games because they found they were too expensive. And to be fair, they are. Um, so I always had to save up my own money from delivering the paper, flyers, whatever it was that I did, cutting lawns, whatever I earned my money on, um, I had to save my own money and buy my own video game stuff. The original Nintendo system, this bad boy right here, this is what I spent my first, like this is the first gaming system I ever bought. Um, and you know, it was very, and here's the thing, and here's a lesson for all the kids and the parents out there, that was very rewarding be honest. Um, I totally respect the way my parents did it. Um, can't say I'm doing the same thing with my own kids. Um, but anyways, so slide it out and of course like all most Nintendo stuff there's usually another box on the inside. Um, it looks like, before we even get to this system, we're going to look at this stuff here real quick. So. So you got some points you can redeem. I'm not going to show that because there's a code there at the bottom. So, um, But uh, there's a thing you can visit uh, MyNintendo.com and get some points for purchasing. So just kind of like the old uh, My Nintendo Club thing. Um, got your warranty agreement. It actually does kind of look like the old style stuff too from back in the day. And we've got our poster with the instructions on how to set it up and everything. And it actually has unfolds to a classic Nintendo poster so that's that's pretty cool um, yeah that, 
that that is pretty cool. Um, so there we go. We got the meat and potatoes here. So we open this uh, panel up here, and we've got our controller. It looks like. And ironically, it is the same size as the original controllers. That is definitely the exact same size as what it is. It feels just like an original controller in every way, shape, and form, which is amazing. Um, let me get this wire off if I can. Hey, like twisty tie wires. Eh, there's another twisty tire. So unfortunately, the cable's really short. That's the downside. Can't really do much about that. Um, it has, the connection is the same as the uh, connection on the bottom of the Wii remotes. So this actually does work as a classic controller for the Wii and the Wii U. Likewise, your classic controllers will also work on this. Um, oh, okay, so let's see. Now this I didn't know was actually in the box. So there actually is a USB AC adapter plug, which is kind of convenient. Um, I seem to remember reading somewhere that that wasn't going to be inside the box. Um, that's good to know. And underneath is the actual USB power cord and your HDMI cable because apparently 8-bit Nintendo's high def now. And believe it or not, this tiny thing, which is smaller than my hand, not by much because I don't have huge hands, and I'm not going to lie like Donald Trump and say that I do. Uh, <laughs> that is your mini Nintendo. And there it is. In all its beautiful glory. So. And then again, you got your USB port and your HDMI port on the back there for your uh, power and your picture. And you've got your two ports on the front for the controller. And you still got your power button and reset button, although the reset button now clicks. I don't know if you can hear that. Probably can. My microphone picks up a lot of stuff. But the button still feels like the old power button in every shape and form. And no, this does not open up. Um, so yeah. Um, pretty cool stuff. Can't wait to actually hook it up. Problem is, I'm, I haven't even hooked up the PS4 Pro yet from the other day. I might be able to do that later on today. I might actually be doing some more videos for later on this week. Um, but yeah, um, I can't wait to actually hook this up and give it a shot and try it out. Got to find some more HDMI ports, though, because I'm running out of HDMI ports on my TV. Um, and that's including the fact that I'm using the HDMI uh, pass-through port on my Xbox One on top of that. So really running out of HDMI ports. Um... But yeah, that's that's the whole thing there. Um, it's pretty cool. I'm kind of excited. I know in some ways I kind of feel like this is a waste of money in some sense. Uh, because of the fact that like this is definitely something that, uh, that I don't really need by any stretch of the imagination. But it is definitely something I wanted. <laughs> um, so I'm not going to complain. Um, we all know how that is. I'm sure we know how that is when you're when you feel like you want something, and so now I have it. Um, so like I said, tomorrow I'm gonna probably be uh, maybe trying to finally get the PS4 Pro hooked up and get this thing hooked up as well. Uh, I might uh, take a couple of videos of them actually up and running, just capture them quickly, and just throw them up on the page as well. And then we might also do some other videos. I actually have to do my uh, video for the upcoming uh, WWE shows this weekend as well so lots of stuff hopefully coming in the next couple of days uh, and weeks for videos and so forth hopefully I can get lots of content uh, put together because I don't have a lot of time again I work in retail and it's Christmas time so um, that's definitely going to uh, hog up a lot of my time but if I can get a bunch of content thrown together for tomorrow that I can just sporadically upload throughout the coming weeks that at least uh, the channel won't look like it's completely died and fallen off the face of the planet. Uh, with that said, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing of the NES Classic Mini, it, or the NES Classic Edition as it's actually officially called. Um, and uh, if you are trying to get your hands on one of these, good luck. Um, like I said though, 
don't kill yourself over it. I know it is going to be tough, and it's going to be tempting to give in, but uh, don't let the don't let the scalpers win. All right, uh, so we'll hopefully uh, see you next time. All right, thanks.